Really big. Big beaver though. on the beaver sets yet we'll just see about those it, it's actually I should have flagged them off uh, with some uh, reflecting tape because it's it's gonna be a struggle to find them in the dark I'm not gonna lie some of them some of them are gonna be easy but some of them are gonna be a little tough but, all right guys we'll see you out there all right guys got Oh, got another muskrat, guys. I knew we'd catch a muskrat right here. I think I might have said in the video. I would not be surprised if we catch a muskrat right here. There's literally like a hole right here. Look at that. Get them take care of her in a second. not feel anything yeah, nothing in there trap still set I feel a trap now all right get this I'll get this muskrat out of here guys uh, so I'm not gonna show you too much uh, today guys I gotta I gotta get going be try to beat that rain so stay tuned guys I have something here and actually I didn't tie this off, did I? No, I definitely forgot to tie it off. Okay. I definitely have something though. Sorry about the lighting guys. I hate checking at night. We're in the dark for beaver or anything really, but mainly freaking beaver. Oh, we got a beaver there, guys. Small beaver. Heck yeah, guys. Connected on a 330, finally. It's one of those bank lodges, guys. Um, I think I showed this set. I'm not 100%, but all right. That's what we're after right there. Beaver. <coughs> Caught one on night number one, and that's been basically it. This one was kind of hard to, to find uh, as far as the hole is how I was accessing. But I ended up finding it. I got him coming out of the hole. So sweet guys. Alright. We gotta keep going down the line. Yeah well, guys, I freaking missed right here. Uh, you can see a little bit of fur. Probably you guys probably can't, but 
Looks like a coon to me, honestly. Dang it. I don't like to miss anything. Cable's still standing. So, all right, it's windy. Windy, that, that rain's coming, guys. So, get this pulled out of the ground here. I'll just probably trip this off over here, that cable. So, all right, guys, keep going. Set. Good lord. Another, it's definitely a muskrat, isn't it? I sound like I'm mad, but I'm, I'm not mad that I'm catching muskrats. It's just, I'm trying to catch all these damn beaver. Good lord. Look at that. I think I caught all of him. Dang, it's a big rat. All right, guys, another rat. Cannot believe we did not catch a beaver on our drowning rods. Maybe I'm gonna be wrong about this spot. Maybe it's gonna be a little tougher than I thought. <laughs> All right, get him taken care of. I got a few more sets to check, so stay tuned. What's up, guys? So, before I go get my kiddos, I kinda wanna show you guys a little bit of a trick here. I didn't have time to get this beaver out of the 3.30 this morning. Uh, if you guys have been watching this video, this year I've been very unorganized. So one of my uh, goals next year is just to be more organized uh, before trap season actually gets here. So you can see I caught this beaver. He went all the way through. He's got his head on this side and he's got him right in the gut right here on that side. So this can be kind of a son of a bitch to get with just your hands. Uh, you can definitely get it, guys, but I'm just going to show you guys another trick on uh, how to get it by using rope. If you guys <clears throat> don't have setters, or maybe your hands are tired, like mine. <laughs> okay, now i got to try to remember how to do this. I should have probably practiced before I'd done this. All right, so basically going to make almost like a pulley. through there like that we're gonna go through it again I'm trying to remember if I need a loop yeah I need a loop guys right, we're just gonna make a quick little loop here that's not going nowhere all right let's try this again go through here Back through there, guys. Back through. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Oops, messed up. Tie this. Go back on the top side here. All right. So, just like that, okay, I'm going to start pulling, yeah, I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see this better, I'm trying not to get so goddamn muddy though, get back doggies, see how it's coming together guys, yeah, I have to lose my, my tray. A little tighter. All right. So I got that one. All right. So there's the beaver out of the 330. We got our two rats here. Uh, I got some skinning to do. Uh, 
I don't know how many rats I got to skin, but got a handful of rats and then this beaver right here, guys. So we got a little bit of mud as you can see. I think we got, I'd say we got around two and a half inches of rain, guys, which we really, really needed it. Still not enough rain, but definitely didn't get the four inches that the uh, weathermen were talking about, but we will take any rain that we could possibly get. Uh, I did leave my beaver sets. <clears throat> I did leave my beaver sets out, guys. Um, I did look at the forecast. Um, right before, right after I checked or was checking traps, dur during checking traps, guys, and I didn't mention it in the video, but it looked like got some smudge on there. It looked like we weren't, weren't going to get the four inches, so left the beaver sets in. Like I said, we do have a 48 hour check uh, rule here in Missouri. In worst case, I just have to make that walk. It's maybe a half a mile, quarter mile, half mile, something like that. Not terrible. Uh, would be terrible if I had a bunch of beavers and I had to drag them by all the way back, but I guess uh, at least I had, had fur with me. But All right, guys, uh, just want to show you a little tip right there and then give you a look at these uh, little fur a little fur that we got here this from this morning uh, I know it's dark and like I said I hate hate checking in the dark but it's part of reality part of life when you have a real job so appreciate it again guys and uh, we'll see you on the line next time thanks